Hello everyone. I'm back. I'm out on my evening walk. My stomach is a little bit full now because I treat myself a little more than normal today. Sorry, I was distracted there. Yeah, it's my birthday. It's my 50th birthday. And that's something. That's an important mile marker to go past. So, 50 years old, that makes you think on things that have been and things that are about to come. So, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. It's me and my two sisters. I have one, as you know, one older sister, and I have one younger sister. And we are now the oldest generation. Parents, our parents are gone way too early. They died in their 60s. Uh, so, no more, everybody is uh, passed away. My uh, mother was a lonely child. She saw no aunts and uncles and no cousins on that side. My father, he had one sister. So uh, there are two cousins. So uh, there are, we are, it's my two sisters, me, two cousins. We are now the oldest generation. So that's, that's fairly, uh, it feels strange to think about that. And the grandchilds are starting to show up. So and that's nice, very nice. So my sister are a grandmother, my younger sister are a grandmother. I am a grandfather and soon to be a grandfather one more time as my son and his wife is expecting in in June so that's exciting so yeah there are uh, lights ahead and actually I think the future is is looking very good even there has been yeah, not so. There have been sorrows and sad stuff in the past, but we need to look up and ahead. Yeah. So. So that's why I started the vlog tonight, Tuesday, to to announce that I have <laughs> passed an important mile marker uh, in my life. So, I was thinking a little bit about what to do for tomorrow's vlog. So I think I have it all planned out. So, When I was in Oslo, there was no drone flying because fly drone in Oslo too is that's almost impossible. To go into the drone map, everything is uh, uh, marked on red. So I'm strict to myself, as I told. Don't want to break any rules. All I do, where I fly. How long I fly, everything like that is is uh, the store. The drone is uh, registering all I do. So if you do something wrong, shame, shame, shame on me. So, but tomorrow I think I will uh, I will uh, send up the drone, find a place to send up, send up the drone. The last video. 
I think it was the second video I put out with the drone hovering or follow, following me that the video got a lot of uh, views almost like 200 views and that's that's very good so my views on the videos are stable so it seems that you are following me and and that you are looking at my videos i'm very thankful for that so i think i now will uh, continue my walk now it actually oh we are not taking the bus i just showed you that uh, now the snow and ice is uh, is gone so it's more easy to take a walk without worrying about slippery and ice so i end this here now finish my walk and uh, we meet again tomorrow when I go out and uh, continue. Okay. Hello folks, I am now back on that island I told you about earlier. Yeah, I think that, that was in my third video. I made an attempt to go out on this island, but uh, there was too much ice and snow still. But now I'm here. <laughs> Look at this. You know, this is an old limestone oven. So, we take a look at this. Wow. Oh, this is in, uh, this is in Norwegian language. Many of you know uh, the, know that language, but some of you don't. But this here is an old, or this island is very rich on limestone. So as early as the 1100, they start mining limestones here. And a lot of buildings around in Jøvik, Hamar, uh, Lillehammer too. A lot of the buildings or some of the buildings in uh, the cities around here are built from limestone from here, actually. So, so you can imagine this is very old, this is from the 1100 so uh, it says here that uh, yeah what does it say really uh, the production of limestone started here in the 1100 continue into the 1200 and um, uh, it was used up in the Middle Ages and actually they uh, had the limestone production here for into the 1900s so this is uh, history uh, 
the church, churches in Hamar and Stange, close to here, I know was built in limestone from here. So, hell, this is old. I'm not that good on history. Some I heard about this place, but never seen it. Or, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not a history teacher. Just telling you what I know and the little I read. I think, wow, do we dare to walk out here? Maybe we should try to, oh, this is, this is exercise, wow. Oh, this is steep, wow. <laughs> Very steep. Maybe it will be dangerous to go back down here again. I really don't know. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That was today's... Uh, oh my God. I need to catch my breath. Yeah. That was... Very nice place here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That uh, hill there, <laughs> it felt, felt like it was about to kill me. I think I'm not alone here anymore. Maybe that's not a bad thing. If I get a heart attack, then I'm not alone here. Wow, what a beautiful place. It's very nice. Almost uh, get the feeling of being by the ocean actually. Even this is a freshwater inland lake. And, uh, on the other side of the lake is Hamar city. I think <laughs> no. there are some people over. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but I'm not here alone. Oh. So this. I think here you can come if you have a boat you can come here anchor up and you yeah can spend the day or a weekend oh this is nice yeah I was climbing that hill, <laughs> that was something. I still need to be careful. My doctor, he warned me about uh, very hard physical activity because he explained it like this, that with a blood pressure this high, if I get very short of breath and uh, like struggling you know the, when you get so tired that you have a problem <sighs> you hyperventilate that can actually be dangerous for me because as my doctor explained that if that happens the pressure inside the heart can get too big so the heart can actually stop so i need to be careful until the blood pressure is stable now i'm going back to the doctor on april the 3rd so then i will find out if my physical activity has helped or not i hope it soon start to go down because i have to admit that it is actually scary to hell it's scary, it bothers me a lot. But we need to stay positive. Stay, po stay positive and continue be outside. Even if you don't do so much hard physical activity, just to stay outside and see other places than the four walls inside your house it's yeah that's positive for mind and the body physical activity is not uh, necessarily hard physical activity taking walks keep moving go out see new things even if this is close to the area I live, it's still a new thing. I never been this place. I never been before. So I was sending up the drone, as you could see in uh, the start uh, of the today's vlog. And even it it doesn't seem that it's very windy. But when I sent the drone up in the air, the wind warning came on instantly. So there are some winds. So I will try to send up the drone again when I get off this island. So but first we actually need to find the way back. I think maybe. <laughs> oh. They are picking stones. It's an old couple picking stones, probably for the garden or something. So, up here it's a cabin of some sort. It looks more like uh, some looks more like uh, yeah, clubhouse or something like that 
and the pine trees. Oh my God, this is a beautiful place. I think maybe I try to. Ha. Maybe I have an idea for a camping site later this uh, I think maybe to bring a tent here and uh, tent by the oh yes look down here it's places for uh, Absolutely, here we can uh, Here is possible to make a camp for a weekend Absolutely yeah. Actually, I think it's more easy to... My car is over on the pier. I think actually it's more easy to... Not go... The way that I came from. I think it's more smooth to go over here. So, watch it when I break all my bolts. <laughs> Looks like it look like volcano rocks, but I guess it's not. I guess this is the limestone they talk about. Oh. We need to try go down here. Let's try. Safe ground. So, I go back to my car, so I talk to you a little bit later. Okay. So windy. You can probably hear that on the audio. But this is. Uh, I'm still on the island. This is a very beautiful place in the summer. You can come here with the boat. I've been here with the boat. And you have the view to Hamai. And uh, on the other side, you have uh, on the bridge, you have the side of the view to Jövik. But as you can see <laughs> there, 
a lot of water need to come back into this lake before we can even think about putting some boats on the water. I was actually thinking about set the drone to active track and get the drone to follow me over the bridge. I hope it's too not windy for that, so I will lose the drone or the drone will stop or something, but we can try. Uh, I think I will go back over the bridge now. It's a cafeteria on the other side. Maybe have a cup of coffee there before I go home. So, yeah, I think so. So, we need to risk a little bit. We take the drone into active track and get it to follow me over the bridge. Too windy to go outside and talk. So, see you on the other side of the bridge. I think it's okay to end uh, today's vlog by saying hello to a very old faithful friend of mine that I haven't seen for uh, for like three months. This is my friend.
and not very clean. This need a this need a shower. But here it is. Yeah. So this is what I am uh, doing at my work. I hope soon that I am allowed back. But there need to be changes. I cannot I cannot work night time as I have done for the last like 12, 13 years. That need to change. So uh, I have started talking to my uh, my uh, my boss about that. So it's I don't know what to say really. Something inside me want to go back. Something. A voice inside me say that I want to go back. Another voice say that maybe it's smart to try to do something else. Because this is... Uh, ah, I cannot blame the car or blame... It's, uh, it's more like the lifestyle that come with the car. And... Uh, Yeah, working night time, of course, you go to work like five o'clock in the evening and you come back all from two o'clock in the night time, three, four, if you are really, if there is delays, something that often happen, maybe you're home like four or five o'clock in the morning. And as you understand, you come home like, let's say you come home four in the morning and you need to eat and uh, calm down a little bit before you sleep. You go to sleep maybe five o'clock and you sleep until like 11, 12 o'clock and you only have like three, four hours free before you have to go back to work. So this kind of work is all about eat, work, sleep. There are not room for, yeah. Imagine if you wake up like 11, 12 o'clock and uh, you need to be awake to go out to exercise to take care of yourself it's not an easy thing to do that's not an easy task it need needs a lot of self-discipline to actually do that with this kind of work so this is a big di dilemma for me because i had this work for like i've been driving big cars like this for soon to be 24 years The dilemma is that uh, I really don't know what else I could do. Um, this kind of work really gets under your skin. It's difficult to leave it because you have a lot of freedom with this work. But you have uh, that will, I mean that when you are at work, nobody actually you you manage your own working day. You don't need to, yeah. 
difficult to explain. It's a job with a lot of freedom, but you are not, uh, uh, you don't have a lot of free time. So you only have a, like, if you're lucky, you have five hours free in the daytime. So I really not don't know what to do. So even if you work daytime, there are very long days. This is not like working eight o'clock in the morning to three, four o'clock evening. Uh, it's like 10, 11, 12 hours, hours day. So I really don't know what to do. So this is difficult. And to be honest, it's bothering me a lot makes me stressed because I know I cannot go home for I need to go back to work at some stage what I'm afraid of that when I go back to work I will fall back into old habits because you get exhausted you get tired sometimes it's very difficult to sleep so it's very difficult to go out and exercise in the daytime when you're off work. So this is a, this is a big headache. So I think about it every day. If you have any suggestions for me on how to deal with this, please let me know. I am open for uh, everything really. But when you have, like I said, when you've been driving cargo trucks for like well over 20 years, it's hard to imagine other kind of work. So I think we will end uh, the vlog here for today. And I will go home, continue thinking about what to do about my work. So, uh, yeah. As you can understand, this is difficult. So, but if I get a lot of subscribers to my channel and a lot of people are start following me, maybe I don't need to go back to this regular work. <laughs> become a YouTube uh, YouTube star in uh, in the age of 50 I don't know if that's possible but oh, yeah. miracles has happened before so I will see you again on Sunday now I think it's time to end the vlog here bye for now